also a wonderful sleepful night here at the Stanley Hotel. Wake up and see a beautiful view of the hedge maze and the Rocky Mountains. I don't think I've ever stayed in a hotel with creepy bells before. Hey you all, and good morning. Carpetbagger here and Jen. Uh, we spent last night here at the Stanley. Had a delightful experience. I think it's been really, really, it's been a really great day, you know, seeing the Stanley and staying here in the snow. I think the snow added. Yeah, I do think the snow <laughs> added. added quite a bit. But uh, I don't know, I had a pretty restful night. Do you, you get some good sleep, Jen? I did, I slept very well, actually. I don't think there was really any, I would say probably no paranormal activity. Jen did say, tell, tell them what you, what, you, what, you, what you encountered. I was getting ready to shower and I heard a woman crying. And then I asked Jacob after the fact if he heard a woman crying and he did not. I, I but did. that is not to say that it was a ghost. It could have just been a woman crying. Woman crying. <laughs> I so. mean, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, they're a very unhappy woman or haunted presence. I don't know. I don't know. So. Maybe she was crying because her husband was going crazy. Oh, no. Maybe. Maybe we should have acted. Like, oh. I don't know. I, people cry. I cry yeah. sometimes. No. I, yeah. If I was crying in a hotel room and someone like <laughs> walked in like, hello, are you okay? I'd, I'd be, be like, like, yeah, I just, I just needed a good cry yeah. in, a, in a hotel. I've cried in many hotel rooms by myself. Over my over my travels. That's not very peppy. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jen, Jen splurged. She got the uh, oh the uh, the frozen. What, what do they call it? The frozen it's, frozen dead guy cake. Yeah. It, but it has a, like a zombie hand and blood. Blood. Yeah. See, there's like blood. If it's frozen, why that was there blood? I don't know. I also don't know why he's coming out of the ground if he's frozen. Like this is more of a zombie cake. Yeah, it's kind of more of a generic zombie cake, but yeah, you know. But I like it's it. still fun. Yeah, it's still it fun. And, yeah. So today, I just don't know what flavor it is though. Looks like maybe red velvet. Yeah, maybe. But today's a sad day because Jen's got to get back on a jet plane and fly back to North Carolina. Yes. And I'll be headed I think after today, I think I will be headed east, so I'll be making my way back there. That's a happy as thing. well. But it, it, I don't know. I think I'm going to be on the road maybe another week before uh, before I get home. There's some things I wanted to check out on the way back. So if you guys will continue to join me for those journeys, and I will make my way back home to Chen. Yes. And I think today, before we go to the airport, we got a few hours to kill, so I think we'll maybe try to make some stops um, on the way to the airport. I'm excited for the stops. You're excited for the stops? Yeah. All right. Please. You should be excited too. I am excited. No, I meant them. Oh, okay. Jen says you guys should probably be excited. <laughs> I'm excited. So please, follow us. Oh, and Jen, you make sure you're drinking, drinking some water. Yeah. I made the mistake and didn't drink a lot of water here and then started feeling like lightheaded and like my lips were numb, like I was gonna pass out. I mean, it wasn't then... just your, your lips. And then I had like a hard time like functioning my hands. Yeah, we were sitting at dinner and she's like, my hands don't work. Like, I can't pick stuff up. I'm like, well, that's kind of concerning. Yeah, I mean, I could, but it, like, it felt like there was a disconnect. So I don't know. I was telling Jen, I'm like, you know, you gotta drink a lot of water with the altitude sickness. We went to the, went to the Denver uh, Museum of Nature and Science, and they said that uh, the higher you are, the more urine you produce, so you can have and more dehydrated. Tell them how many times I <laughs> kept peeing yesterday. Yeah, you were, you're like, using, seriously, like, you're using the bathroom nonstop almost while you're like, my hands, my hands. And you're like, drink some water. I was like, please, please drink water. So Jen normally, I mean, I hope you don't mind me mentioning no, this. Fine. Jen normally doesn't drink a lot of water. She no. drinks a lot of diet soda, and uh, but I, I convinced her, and then she's like. Oh, after I drank all this water, my hands started working again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but now my lips are dry again today. Yeah, so, so we're pretty high up here. This is over 7,000 uh, 7, feet elevation. 
So yeah, I felt woozy a few times, and you know, going up, you know, going upstairs like that, like you just get out of breath, yeah. real easy. Yeah, and you get electrocuted because it's dry. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but um, every time, yeah, literally, literally every time that I went to touch the elevator, a bolt of lightning shot out of the button into my hand. There was even one point where I tried to touch it with my phone and a bolt of lightning jumped over my phone and hit me in the hand. So I don't know if that has anything to do. Maybe it's haunted. <laughs> is that, is that, is that has anything to do with the elevation? Probably more the dryness if I had to guess. But yeah, I've been shocked just constantly while here at, uh, at the Stanley. You thought maybe it's because you touched the electric fence. I thought maybe that was gonna be it. But Jen said, yeah, Jen touched the electric fence too. She didn't get as much, but I, I was like caressing it. So <laughs> maybe it was electric after all. It's electric. Stopped off here at the dam store, which claims to be best store by a dam site. I guess you could say this is the best damn store over here we got a couple of sasquatches here under this tower and it says free tower see the falls but apparently to enter the tower we need to uh, head inside the shop here did you find anything Jan? <laughs> I like the moose are Those together. are some happy. Oh, let me see. They're that. like best friends. There were some mooses. happy mooses there. <laughs> oh, and look at this. We got a damn store penny press. Some different uh, types of pennies there. I think I like the one with the actual damn store on the penny. All right, so this is an old school one. We got to put our own penny in and our own quarters. No credit cards here. All right. Jam it in and turn the crank. Oh, you can see the penny being smashed in there. Oh, there we go. And there it is. Yeah, wonderful addition to my smashed penny collection. Jen's just looking for anything, anything with a moose on it. <laughs> Apparently. So you, so you tried that odd. I know, I really like it. I don't know, I kind of like this shirt here from the damn store. It's a damn shirt. <laughs> and look at the logo on this bag. It says, the damn store, my damn bag. And apparently their, their motto is helping kids swear because the kids can tell their parents, hey mom, hey dad, I want to stop at the damn store and get a damn bag. All right, let's go check out the tower. This is to the damn tower. It's also no damn smoking on the observation deck or tower. Thank you damn much. Oh, I guess the tower is closed today. Some keychains here. And look at this. I don't know if I've seen this. It's a snow globe on a keychain. I'd be afraid that would like break and make everything in my pocket wet. You can get a bottle of gold here with your name on it. Let's see if they have any uh, any Jacob bottles of gold here. Oops. Okay, there we go. For a second I thought they may not have a Jacob. But the real question is, do they have any uh, any Bort buckets of gold? <laughs> oh, no Bort. Oh, they do have some great snow globes here. Look at that. There's a little Yeti, a little Colorado Yeti <laughs> with, he's got, he's, yeah. he's got, that's a horned version of the Yeti. And, uh, oh, what do you got there, John? It says, welcome to Colorado in his belly. It's a moose with a welcome sign in his belly. Yeah. yeah, I think that has to go into our into I our collection. So. <laughs> we have quite a collection of Sasquatch stuff. Sasquatch is very popular here in Colorado. Apparently Sasquatch hates people. I guess that's why he's always in the woods. And there is the, uh, the uh, Smokey Bear mashup, the Squatchy, the Squatch. So sadly, the tower is closed. They did say that it, uh, apparently there is some ice blocking the way to the tower. So we'll just have to, uh, just have to check it out next time. There it is up ahead. And we have landed in Johnstown, Colorado. More specifically, we are at 
Bucky's, the first Bucky's in Colorado. And believe it or not, this Bucky's opened yesterday. So this is a brand new Bucky's. I wanted to come to the grand opening, but uh, we had already had our uh, already had our reservations at the Stanley. So uh, we figured we'd show up here on the second day and uh, check out the first Bucky's in Colorado. All right, so let's check out this brand new Bucky's. Bucky's! All right, still got their Easter stuff out. We we bought one of these uh, little bunny Bucky's at the Bucky's in Sevierville. Oh, I didn't even notice. Does yours have the bunny feet? Yeah, I was like bunny feet. <laughs> Of course, you get your official classic Johnstown, Colorado Bucky shirt. Of course, every Bucky's has the Bucky Trucky there. And instead of wheels, they have tiny Bucky's. And the back of the truck is full of little Bucky's with a giant Bucky sitting amongst his tiny children. And look at this face here on the front of the Bucky Trucky. Bucky looks alarmed. Oh, you get one of those for the plane? I forgot mine at home. You forgot your at home? So now I have an excuse to have, you have, an excuse to have a Bucky's <laughs> it's actually very, airplane very soft, pillow. It's Is it soft? I mean, yeah, sometimes these are too firm. I've had not so great luck with them. Um, you know, some people say, how do you wear that? It depends. If I'm like just like on my phone and have it on the back, yeah. oh, that's really comfortable actually. But if I'm like sleeping, I put it in the okay. front Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that the two different people argue about the right way to wear them. I feel like so you say in the back when you're awake, in the front when you're asleep? Yes. <laughs> oh, look at this. We have the Bucky's concert shirt. And sadly, it has just been rendered. Yesterday, it was rendered inaccurate. So it's the Bucky's World Tour. It shows the opening dates of all the different Bucky's. You can see uh, last year. Uh, end of the year, Springfield, Missouri got their Bucky's. That was the last new Bucky's built until yesterday. We are now missing the Johnstown, Colorado Bucky's right there. And look at that, Jen is actually currently wearing this shirt. Can we see it there? There we go. But sadly, you're gonna have to throw the shirt in the garbage no. because it's now completely inaccurate. I think I'm just gonna write it in. You're gonna write it in? Yeah, with like one of those like like shiny Sharpies. Or maybe you just have to wait till the next edition of the t-shirt comes out. I mean, I'll definitely get that. I feel like they're putting out Bucky's so fast that uh, these shirts like, like they never, can't they can't keep up. These shirts will never like actually be accurate. No, I don't think so. Yeah, you can see the checkout lines there. Bucky's is always pretty busy. And uh, this one's brand spanking new. So I definitely expected a lot of people to be here. Over here is usually where they keep their state-specific shirts. Get some Bucky Colorado shirts there, the tie-dye version. This one's kind of cool with the Colorado flag logo, as well as the mountains. And I think they have this one in a lot of different states where it's kind of the postcard, the postcard-themed uh, t-shirt. And there's one more specific Colorado Bucky where he's going up a windy mountain road. Here's the Bucky's pet section. Little dog bowls with Bucky on it. There's some like traveling dog bowls. And here is some, these are like dog treats. This is freeze dried duck. And it just reminds me actually the uh, Wrinkle the Duck, who has a very popular on the internet, recently came to the Bucky's in Sevierville and was banned. They got in trouble for bringing a duck into Bucky's and was banned from every Bucky. So. Wrinkle the Duck won't be able to come in here and see that they're actually now selling freeze-dried duck. <gasps> Jen. It's actually a Bucky's puppet. I don't know if I've seen the puppet. I don't know if I've seen the puppet version before. He's so cute. You got any logs for me to chew on? Because I'm a beaver. You are a beaver. I think he likes barbecue. I like barbecue. Barbecue logs. Barbecued logs. I like when they cut down trees and then put them in a smoker and then they chop it up in little wood chips and it's like beaver pulled pork. But it's a log and oh, wood. Oh, okay. It's not made from a beaver. And by the way, beavers don't actually eat wood. They just chew it apart to build dams and houses. Wood is too fibrous. It doesn't have any <laughs> nutritional value. What do you eat? Uh, probably nuts, berries, maybe occasionally uh, 
occasionally a fish. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if beavers eat fish. What about a bug? Maybe I may need a bug. <laughs> if it's barbecued. <laughs> is this a Yeti here? He's awfully blue, but he does have the Yeti horns. Apparently this is a warmy. You put it in the microwave, so it's a nice warm thing to hug. Do you ever put your plushies in the microwave? <laughs> no, I haven't. I would if I had one that was made for the microwave. So, so don't, don't put your normal plushies in the you microwave. You can't just put normal ones? No. Like you can't put no. your like Bucky's in the microwave? I would think not. I mean, we could try. Uh, maybe we shouldn't. There's a pink one. There's a pink one here? Yeah, I guess it's just little, little microwavable monsters. Here's the Bucky seatbelt covers. Now you have a Chewbacca seatbelt cover. Does that like help? Like, is it, you find seatbelts to be like scratchy? Um, sometimes they rub on my neck. Really? Yeah, and so that yeah. helps. But I, I mean, you'd have to put him like over here for it to like help. Yeah. Yeah, but, I don't know. Something I never realized yeah. was necessary. <laughs> some bumper stickers here, and I'm trying to be go easy on the bumper stickers. I do want to put some bump, more bumper stickers on my car, but I'm trying to be really careful because you know there's there's only so much canvas to work with. But that's pretty cool. The Colorado. Bumper sticker there. Gone to Bucky's. Bucky's vibes. You can see this very fashionable mannequin here modeling off the uh, Bucky's onesie. You don't you don't have one of the onesies, do you? I would. They don't have my size. They don't That's have your like size. One of my goals for weight loss is to have this a is, Bucky onesie. This is your non-scale goal. Yes, this is my non-scale goal. Is to dress like a beaver. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and these do, just to point out, if you guys have not seen, they do have a beaver tail on the back. I'm almost there. I'm almost to my onesie. How many, how many people do you think have been wearing this onesie and accidentally got the beaver tail in the toilet? <laughs> Probably a lot. And a brand spanking new Bucky's breast penny machine. You have these uh, different different uh, designs, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. Well, you actually have the Colorado Mountains there. It's kind of specific to Colorado. And even though this is a brand new Press Penny, even though this only opened yesterday, it still is the old school style. Uh, this penny here, this is a little bit of a mucky penny. So we'll see how that turns out. I know some people say the old pennies actually make better Press Pennies. And uh, some people say that the newer shiny ones look better. We'll see how this one looks. We're using an old mucky penny today. Gonna put our own quarters in. There. And uh, turn the crank. Let's see. Oh yeah, I got the penny in there. So we're crushing it. And there it is. So yeah, the monkey penny kind of makes an interesting design because you know it adds more texture to it, and sometimes you can actually read them better with the monkey penny. And look at that—you turn it over, and you can still see the design of the penny on it, which I think that's kind of cool. I think it's time to hunt down some food here at Bucky's. See him cutting some fresh brisket back there. And I really don't know if I, uh, if I like this. This is a beaver nugget scented candle for people that want their house to smell like beaver nuggets. I don't, I, like, honestly, I don't like the beaver nuggets. They taste kind of like uh, super sweet corn pops. And I, I definitely don't want my house, maybe it's just a sensory issue with me, but I hate the, the thought of my house smelling like sweets. It makes me feel like the air itself is sticky. Let's see what this... Oh, oh yuck. Yeah, it smells... Oh, it smells like frosting. Oh, I feel sticky just from having smelled that. Oh. Mm. I've been keeping a cooler in my car for coming up on a year now, 
And I must say, Bucky's probably has the cheapest ice. $2 for 16 pounds. Sometimes it'd be three or $4 for a seven pound bag at uh, Walmart. Of course, every Bucky's has the Bucky statue out front. And they, they, they got a new design here. In the last couple years, the, the Bucky's that they've created in the last two years or so have been this happier cartoon version. There's like an old school Bucky statue that looks uh, kind of kind of different. Kind of a crude Bucky, but uh, see, see here, he has reached his final form. Digging into our barbecue lunch here at Bucky's. Bucky! I tend to get the exact same thing. I may need I to, always get the same I may thing need to, to expand a little bit because I got the chopped brisket sandwich. And where's the sausages? You pulled your sausage out, I thought. I pulled my sausage out? Yeah, oh, here it is. There. See, I told you. There we go. We got uh, the sausage on a stick and the uh, chopped brisket, kind of my meal of choice. You I like always the, get pulled you pork. Get the pork. I used to get the chicken, or no, the turkey. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like no one orders the turkey, so it like so it sits there longer. Yeah, it gets kind of dry. So now I get the pulled pork and the sausage sticks. It's also interesting too. The sausage sticks, for whatever reason, after a certain time at night, they quit serving them. Yeah. We know all the Bucky stuff. I know all the Bucky's lore. <laughs> And I'm I'm switching out my uh, switching out my buns to the the keto buns there. What did Puppet Bagger get? Puppet Bagger? Oh, he doesn't eat food. No, what does he eat? Uh, puppets? What do puppets eat? I don't know. Anyone out there know what puppets eat? Leave a comment. We should have got the Bucky in puppet the for him. Section. Are we? Are you sure you want to start like a whole puppet thing? All right, I'll I'll let you collect puppets, but you have to learn. Uh, you have to learn ventriloquism first. Oh, that shouldn't be so hard. Have you ever right? done ventriloquism? I don't know if I don't know if anyone could understand Jen. Leave a comment. <laughs> in the comment section. This is really good food right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Mmm. Always good. Always. Do I have a paper towel on my head? Very big mess. You're making a mess? Mm -hmm. oh, cool. So Bucky's, you know, expanding their empire oh my goodness. across the country. Bucky's seem to be popping up almost like every six months now. It used to be you could only get Bucky's in Texas, and they built a few out, and they just, it's been a never-ending expanse mm -hmm. since then. But, I don't know, I enjoy it. Um, you know, you might, you might argue that it takes away a little bit of the magic of Bucky's when they're everywhere. But I do, you know, I do always like knowing that there's going to be you know, I see them when I'm traveling. They're open 24 hours. They've got clean bathrooms, and they got the barbecue. You know, this genuinely good Texas barbecue. No, it is actually that you can very get. Good. Now you can get almost anywhere in the country. So when I first came down to visit you in Waynesville, I yeah. think that's was that the first trip we took. Yeah, I went to Waynesville, and then we continued on to Florida. Right? Was that our first like big trip? Sounds this right. Tripping on me. But that was the first time I had Bucky's, and my sister had just, just discovered it on TikTok and stuff. And on TikTok, we were all excited that like Bucky's, and I mean I'm still just as excited. But I feel like some of the magic is gone. Like I had a well, it doesn't help that now I live an hour from one. Yeah, you live close to one, and they're they're everywhere. Yeah, but I, you know, it's, it's kind of a balance. You know, I like having them everywhere because I like being able to get the food to stop at them. But you know, it used to be Bucky's was like a magical thing. Like you would see it. Like at hours, they, they would yeah. post the billboards like you're like 180 miles from Bucky's, <laughs> and uh, you're doing the anticipation. Oh, there's Bucky's, Bucky's coming up, but now, Bucky's. now I think in a few years there's gonna be a Bucky's at every exit. I yeah, every every single exit in the world. So you guys leave a comment in the Worldwide. comments. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know. Are you excited that there's gonna be Bucky's everywhere? Or do you think it's kind of kills the magic in a way? There was a guy walking in, I assume from Colorado. He was yep. like, I can't believe we're out of Bucky's. <laughs> so like people are still like genuinely excited. Yeah, and no, I think whenever anyone comes to a new area, people get very excited that they have one locally. Yeah, and when you know, said one was opening, I was excited. Yeah, I think it's, you know, I think it's good. I think it's good to spread out. You know, again, it takes away a little bit of the magic, but I think it's worth it just having them, having them everywhere, knowing that, that you can stop and it's a good place, you know, to get out, to get gas, cheap gas. Clean bathroom. Cheap ice. Cheap ice. I showed the cheap ice. Oh, really? <laughs> Two dollars for a sixteen-pound bag. That's yeah, actually no, really good. Yeah. Um. Now I forgot what I was gonna say. I don't know. I was all like gearing up and I'm like, okay, when he's done, it's me. Oh, I think I should be Bucky's spokesperson. 
Oh. Like just me and Bucky. You you want to build a statue of you out front? Well, no, not like just me. Like I just want to be like I'm the commercials. I don't think they have commercials. Well, I want them to start, and I want me to be Ishkins to be me and Bucky in the costume. But that's a real beaver, and it's not a costume. It's just me and Bucky. <laughs> I'm backtracking right. here. Start a letter writing campaign. So I want everyone to make me like the Je voice Jen of Bucky. to be the voice. It doesn't of even have to be my face. Like I could just be like, hey. Like, All right, if anyone wants to hear that. <laughs> no one wants to hear that. <laughs> start a letter writing campaign to Bucky's. No, I love them so much and I feel like on my videos, like they're they're kind of over the top, like with how excited I get to be in Bucky's. So Are you excited to be at the first Bucky's in Colorado? Yeah, and we went to the Springfield one and I've been to one in Kentucky and Florida and Texas and is that it? I don't know, I've been to a couple in Georgia. Kentucky. No, I've probably been to one. You say Georgia. Kentucky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, I like to see them, see them pop up, and I'll, uh, I'll continue visiting them along my travels. I'm sorry. I'm sad they didn't have. I'm sorry. But You're sad. I'm, no, I'm sad they didn't have a Colorado Bucky. I wanted him to be in like yeah, a loose outfit. Because when I went, when you go to when I went to Texas, they actually had a Texas Bucky. He was wearing like a Texas T-shirt that don't mess with Texas. Yeah. But I was oh yeah hoping they may have like some more uh, Colorado specific merchandise. Yeah, a little bit, but nothing like yeah. crazy. I got a Colorado sticker. Got a sticker that says Colorado? Yes. Does it say Bucky. Bucky on it? Okay, of yeah. course. <laughs> gotta, have, gotta have Bucky on it. All the beaver, all the Bucky. That's the new slogan, apparently. That's what you come up with? All the beaver, all the Bucky. I'm gonna eat my food now. <laughs> oh, you yeah, actually see the giant inflatable Bucky there as we are heading out. you've arrived at the Denver Airport, you see the giant blue hell stallion, Blucifer. There he is. Blucifer. All right, Jen. Had a good time in Colorado, but I'm got aboard a jet plane. You're sad? Yeah. I'm sad too. Aww. I give you hugs. We already did this, but. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I love you. I love Usually you too. I cry. I'm trying not to cry. Anymore. I mean, I'll be, I'll be back soon. Yeah. Don't cry. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Don't cry. Oh no. Bye. Bye. Okay. okay. <laughs> Bye, Jen. Bye, love, you. love you too. And goodbye to you, Lucifer. So Jen has been dropped off at the airport successfully. She texted me, let me know she had made it through TSA and would be boarding the plane shortly. And uh, like I said, I'm going to probably be back home in, in about a week. Um, I'm gonna be headed east here. And uh, this, this particular road trip that we've been on, I've been on the road, I think for 19 days so far and uh, still not finished. And uh, this trip, this particular road trip has been marked by unusual and interesting celebrations. We started out in Augusta, Georgia with the unveiling of the first ever two-headed T-Rex along with some remarkable sideshow acts. We uh, traveled overnight, no sleep, till Frogman drove from Augusta, Georgia to uh, the Cincinnati, Ohio area overnight without sleeping and visited the Frogman Festival. A few days later, we headed out to St. Louis and spent several days enjoying the festivities of Trans World. The uh, Halloween and Haunted Attractions Expo had an amazing time in St. Louis. And from there, drove to Colorado to Estes Park to celebrate one of the strangest festivals in the United States, Frozen Dead Guy Days. Of course, if you're interested in any of those, they're all documented in video form. But before I wanted to, before I got home, 
I wanted to uh, visit one more strange and unusual and unique festival and uh, that is what I'm planning on doing in Detroit, Michigan on the 24th. So uh, right now I'm going to drive. I'm going to uh, head eastward and uh, we are going to uh, going to be documenting, you know, stay tuned, we day to day showing some cool stuff along the route home. I'm not not going directly east actually. I'm taking a little a little bit of a side route because there's some things I wanted to uh to see on the way home. But I uh, appreciate you guys following along with me. You know, it means a lot to me those of you who do watch day to day. I have been putting out daily videos for some time now. Um, and we'll see. We'll, like I said, I, I never can decide if this is a daily channel or not. But it has been. It has been for uh, for a while. Um, yeah, appreciate you guys coming along with me on all these adventures, all these journeys, all these unique places, all these unique celebrations. Um, of course, you know if you do like this channel, you know it helps out if you subscribe, if you like this video, if you share this video. Um, you know all those things help me out. Um, if you're looking for other ways to help the channel, uh, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more, we'll get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop and doing personalized messages on Cameo. Of course, all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Till next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.